Hi everyone, this is uh, Vidya Sukumaran from the Home Decor and DIY blog, What's Your Home Story? And uh, today let's talk about Stumble Upon. I've had a lot of um, my friends bloggers ask me whether I use it or not. Um, actually, before that, let's get into what exactly is Stumble Upon. Stumble Upon is a social bookmarking website uh, where the users curate the content. When you say the users curate the content, it means um, you and me, we add in pages to their extremely large database, um, pages about whatever um, is uh, of interest to us, and um, we can go there and access, find new content. So again, it's totally user driven and that's how it recommends pages for you as a user. And also it looks at how many people likes a page. You have a thumbs up um, icon there and a thumbs down version. So um, what stumble upon does is depending upon how many thumbs up or and how many stumbles that page has got, it recommends it to users that have similar interests as you. So the more a page gets thumbs up, the better it is for the page. So two things it does actually, the thumbs up. Uh, one, it increases the visibility of the page. Two, uh, it tells stumble upon what kind of pages you as a user likes. And stumble upon uses the characteristics of the page that you liked to recommend similar pages to you. So uh, that's just and why why do you need to use stumble upon, especially for bloggers? Uh, to tell you the truth, you know, I started blogging two years ago and I read about stumble upon from here and there. And I started using stumble upon mainly by adding my own links. A big, big no no. Uh, as expected, I was just entering, adding on my pages, so I didn't get anything out of it. And um, I, I was kind of disappointed and I stopped using it. So fast forward two years down the line, down the lane, I was in one of my um, blogger groups and the topic of stumble upon came upon came on and I was like, I've tried it, doesn't work for me, um, didn't have any results. And surprisingly, a lot of other bloggers said the same thing, while a handful of others said no, um, SEO or stumble upon drives a ton of traffic to their blogs and it's a huge traffic driver in that we all should be using it. So I took that as a cue and um, end of January this year, um, it's actually March, the first week of March now, uh, end of January this year, um, I started using Stumble Upon regularly. I should stress that regularly. On and off doesn't work. They, uh, Stumble Upon wants you to engage regularly and actively. Uh, and uh, for the most important thing of Stumble, Stumble Upon, it's a, it's a teamwork. Um, promoting yourself, like every other social media, I would say, promoting yourself alone just does not work. They penalize you for it. So, uh, so yes, back to how I started using it. So uh, I started using it very actively. Started following people, and people started following me. And um, this past month, February, I had the best traffic month ever. I can't say it's all stumbled upon because I've been trying to grow my blog. But again, in the last two plus um, two years and two months of blogging, I had the best traffic month this February, and 13% of my uh, of the traffic was due to stumble upon. Um, again, so that kind of and this was just me just starting to use it for the first time ever actively. I would say that's the first month of actively using stumble upon, and uh, again. As your level of engagement goes down, I've seen uh, the referral traffic traffic also goes down. For example, the last two, three, four days, I've been out of town and running a bunch of errands, and I couldn't concentrate on uh, stumble upon. So I actually didn't even log in, and that basically shows in my stats to um, absolutely nil some days. Uh, 
So anyway, back to my uh, big traffic month of February. So what happened? My two main two posts actually. I mean, there were a few that got uh, traffic. I would say medium range, but then two posts went viral on Stumble Upon, and the benefit from it, the traffic from it, was it was like off the roof. So. What I'm trying to say is, um, you need to. It's 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 it, it's a it's a medium which uh, helps you as a blogger, both for your traffic, promoting your traffic blog wise, and um, and also for you to discover new content. So some people might say it's not worth the effort because um, the traffic. You get from stumble upon is not the ones uh, doesn't have high conversion rates, but page views are page views in traffic or static. So, um, so let's get down to um, what it looks like profile wise. Let me switch to my. How do I switch? Yes, screen share. So. Uh, can I, can I, can I, can I? Uh, I'm thinking this one. No, not that, not that, not that. Uh, what in the world is that? Anyway, uh, so this is my first time doing a Google Hangout. I was reading up on it like crazy. And uh, good lord. How do I turn back on? This is, this is. Let me just go back on and see if I can find my page. Okay, it's in here. So let me see. Okay, got it. So where was I? My screen share. I think I have got my stumble upon page up. Yes. Here we go. So this is. I created an account, and this is how uh, my profile page looks. Uh, or when I log in, this is how my home page looks. I should say that. So if you go in, and there are two ways. Um, let me go back to. Uh, no, it's okay. So the stumbling basically just means um, you just going from one page to another. There are. Um, you could say there are. A lot of um, similarities between Stumble Upon and Pinterest, even though they're two totally different things um, and work differently too. But um, let's uh, let's think of Stumble Upon as a giant dictionary full of pages that you want to read. You know, not just everything that's on the net on the that that's available on the net, but based on the topics that you want to see, and based upon what um, the people that you're following are endos. And that way, it's pretty similar to Pinterest. So anyway, uh, I ha um, you can download a stumble upon uh, the stumble upon bar, or which kind of helps with stumbling. I I have heard a lot of people say that that's a big must to increase your traffic, but um, I use it. Sporadically, I just go in and hit um, stumble, um, like add the, add the page. Like I go in here, and it gives you an option to add a page. And if I find something that's interesting, I would add the page, add my link here. Uh, this, these are all my pages uh, that I've had before. And then it's this is page safe for work, yes. And then what is this page about? This is where I'm not a big fan of uh, stumble upon. Um, if you look at this, these categories, it it covers a big, huge range. But then, uh, when you think from a home decor DIY perspective, it's not really broken down. All I generally end up doing a lot of uh, adding a lot of things to the crafts page. Um, there is a big um, design uh, category. Again, what I found, if I go through for the design, if I go and see, uh, it's not really DIY stuff that I see there. And there is another um, section called uh, home improvement and homemaking. I've seen some hardcore DIY stuff in uh, home uh, in home improvement. So. Uh, that's one category where you would add 
uh, where else? There is an interior design. Again, what I've seen is more of a building or a room thing rather than. Uh, that's my phone ringing. But anyway, uh, so uh, not really craft, uh, DIY, home decor. Like if you make a wreath or something, it would go into crafts. Even if you make, like, for example, I refinished my breakfast table. Uh, where should I put it? I'm kind of confused sometimes. If I put it in home, I could put it in home improvement. Uh, but uh, I've never really seen much response coming out of home improvement section. So I generally end up putting it in crafts. Same thing with uh, gardening. There's a section for gardening, and again, I don't know. Um, it depends. I'll tell you. <laughs> there was a funny thing that happened. So anyway, the category, the first time you add a page, the category that you pick for the page, the select the interest for the page, is very, very important. If it moves to a different one, I'll tell you. That's a very funny story. Anyway, if it moves, to, if you have by mistake, uh, these are very. It's easy to get the next ones. For example, if you're doing gardening and you end up getting gambling instead, uh, um, there goes your post and the visibility. Anyway, and then you can add whatever tags it is. For example, if it's a, let's say you made a fall wreath or a spring wreath, and so you added it to crafts, and then you can say spring crafts, uh, spring crafts. Um, and I generally would say DIY. Um, actually, why don't we just add a? Um, let me go to the blog. I I didn't add. So, um, and imp very very important thing when you're adding uh, a page, your own page, you need to stumble at least ten pages of others before you add one of your own. For you stumble one of your own, or if you add, oh, what's my page? Or if you add uh, a new one. So, for example, uh, so last few days I've been just stumbling other people's content, so I think I'm safe to add it. So in this case, I have added my spring ball up wreath, and then I go in and I pick crafts, and uh, here it's spring crafts DIY um, wreaths, and then I do ball up. Mm, I think that's enough. So. Um, and then you can write a comment. So uh, tutorial, tutorial on uh, how to on how to make a black wreath. So I've never been very uh, systematic about entering comments, but then I read somewhere the other day that comments are very very important in uh, bringing up the page just ranking when. Sample upon looks looks for ref, referring it to the other users. So if you can, the best add a comment. So you add a page. Add the page. Did I add it? Okay. So and it shows you start stumbling. So you can go stumble and let's start stumbling. Let's see what it gives me. So what is this? So did you see, um, can you see this all interest? So it just gives me basically what's in there. I can go specify what interest I have. So generally what I stumble the most is graphs. So um, you can narrow down what you want to see based on your interest. So um, like I said, see, I mean, how is this relevant to, relevant to, I mean, it's, it's, they did the ceiling, but then Adding a post like this, they did. They painted the ceiling, but then adding a post like this, and pictures like this, um, might be a good idea. But I don't know. I try have the patience to look at it. So, um, you can either give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, I don't know. Giving it a thumbs down sometimes, uh, it really depends. If it's not what I want to see, I give it a thumbs down. Um, but let's give this page a thumbs up, and then I stumble, hit stumble. So then it recommends me to something else. The next one that's in, in its queue. So again, this is a mason jar soap dispenser. I go down and read my post and I really like what um, it does. I can share it on. I can share it in this if I use this. I can share it with my followers, um, with all my contacts. I can send it out, uh, share it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, anywhere I want. Mm. I don't really share much stuff unless and until it's a very, very interesting post. Um, but um, I know people that share a lot, but 
I really don't know if it kind of increases the PIP your ranking or if it really does anything to increase the visibility of your post. Um, liking or giving a thumbs up for sure does, but sharing, I don't know. So you can message, um, send a message or comment on this page. Yeah. So if you want to add, a, how, how do you add a comment on a page that's already in there? So this is how you add it. So this is pretty much pretty um, really cool idea, really um, cool idea of marking it for future. So I did this and then um, saved it. So another thing that I can do is, uh, what is this? Let me see. I can add this to a list. So what exactly is a list? Let's come back. So I'll, um, as you can see, I have uh, four lists already. So I can add it to um, whatever list I want. So this one, I would add it to my to-do list because I already want to make this again. So what list is, is basically, it's very similar to you, your pin board. You know, so on Pinterest, um, I have all these boards uh, where I show my projects and then ideas for the new room and everything for my um, for my kids' rooms, uh, fall decor, spring decor. So basically, the lists are like that, and um, we can have people following you as uh, as uh, your whole profile, or people following just your lists. That's exactly like how it does how it is on Pinterest. So um, let's come back to my profile. Oh, do so again. Um, here, if I click the your likes, stumble upon, choose me, just my likes. And you, an interesting thing about stumble upon is you can stumble your likes. So what it does, it just shows you the posts that you have liked. So um, again, by doing so, you're giving these posts a new life. So let's say once a month or so, I go back and I do this. I do this actually. I, I do this and it pretty much, again, brings the old post into circulation, which is a very, 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 it's a very, very cool thing about Stumble Upon. You know, you just keep adding, um, you've been adding lots of pages, yours and others, and then after a while, all the old posts just don't have any life in them, no traffic, nobody sees it. So this is a good way to, stumbling your likes, a good way to, um, give them a new lease of life. So uh, these are the lists that I have. So you can see. I mean, I'm not very active in this um, list yet. So I really don't have any followers in here, but um, that's gives you that gives you an idea. And then 59 comments are the comments that I have commented on. So when I commented on here, it is this is tutorial on how to make a ball up breathe, and then make these all these um, on mine and on the other, other people's stuff I've commented, and um, that's what I chose you. And the history is basically what all I have stumbled so far, and this is the number of follow people who follow you, and these are the number of followers you have. And then, yes, a very, very important thing about um, stumbling is the stumble DNA. So my DNA is basically hobbies. Majority of us it is hobbies. And then I have home and living because that's what I stumble the most. I always go in with either craft, home improvement, or design. That's what I do. I mean, that's what those are the topics that interest me so that's what I stumble so again that's that's my stumble DNA um, uh, again that stumble DNA is based on your interests so once when you first join stumble upon they ask you to add interest um, you can add interest anytime not just here in this case um, my interests are arts and crafts, crafts, design, gardening, food cooking, home improvement, interior design, landscaping and I have even some SEO in there but maybe I should start using that anyway so how do you add interest so you click interest it'll show you um, recommended because I keep I guess looking at crafts and sewing and stuff it shows me crochet but and then I do post a lot of food recipe uh, 
a lot of food pages so again that's why but I don't know about um, these I think it's just recommends it based on whatever so these are all the topics it's pretty vast and uh, the first time you are in you have to scroll through the whole list or you can actually search from here and then um, you can also go by what's popular as you can see most of these um, the crafts are pretty down the list if you see, look at that. I mean, it's, it's sorted by uh, it's sorted alphabetically, but then um, we can get an idea. So um, that's what it is. And then um, what this tab tells you here is there are 512 interests in stumble upon, and this is the number of stumbles there is in 9.5 thousand less than that million, I guess. So how do you find people to follow? Click on this button it shows you this, all the stumblers there is. So there are recommended people based on, again, how do they recommend it? Based on your interest and based on what you have been giving a thumbs up. So um, you don't need, need to give every page a thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, sometimes if I really don't feel that it's either, neither, you know, it's not uh, down, it's not an up, so I just hit stumble and move over to the next page. Uh, I guess it doesn't really do anything for that page, but then that's how I feel about it. So let's see. Um, these are the people that um, they recommend that I follow. And um, you can see how many likes they have and how many followers they have. For example, this person, she has 647 followers. And a very, very, very key thing when you look for people to follow. Look at this. This is their DNA their DNA and she stumbled a lot of home and living stuff so that would be a very good match for me someone like that someone following somebody like her would ensure that I also get to see content that she is viewing so let's follow and start following the person and then if you keep looking again in this case I don't know why it is recommended it seems pretty weird because the stumble DNA, there's no stumble DNA. And how come that person is recommended? Um, oh, yeah, one thing about stumble upon, you can actually pay to get discovered. Uh, I guess every social media has that nowadays. So I'm thinking the reason this person is here might be, I don't know, because without any, any DNA available, how come they're recommended to me? So this is art and history. And um, again, more home and living looks like that's another person that I would like to follow. So that's how you, you find people to follow. And um, some people are very, very active users. And if you get them to follow you, follow you, then that's, and they share or like one of your posts, then that's a job. So um, that's how it is. And then another feature there is, is uh, this notification. These are all these people who shared stuff with me. I don't really go and see it um, because I know some people just use it, just, just they would share anything. Some people don't, but anyway, I've set all my notifications off. So that's there. And then uh, what else? Let me go to... Um, can I go to my home page? So that's my home page. And it shows you my shares. And uh, uh, we can see what is trending here too. So, and these are the things that's trending in your field of interest. So um, that basically sums up um, what I'll uh, um, used. Uh, that basically sums up how stumble upon looks so let me switch back to uh, me okay so um, what's the takeaway from this uh, it's a teamwork they reward you for working as a team and working with others it's not about you as a blogger bragging, uh, look at me, look at me, these are my posts. No, it's not. They penalize you if you do that. So um, number one, find, find out followers to follow. And um, I actually ended up um, adding 
I tried this. Um, I can't say it's been working foolproof, but I added about five new people every day to follow. Um, I think that kind of brought my traffic up pretty uh, quite my visibility I would say not the actual blog traffic but then um, if you increase the visibility there are chances that people will like thumbs up your post and your post will be shown to those people so um, try adding a uh, following a few new people every day and um, use the 10 to 1 ratio always uh, stumble um, 10 pages of other people's content before you stumble your own. Um, it goes for even adding pages. Same thing. Add 10 new pages of others before you add a page of your own. So uh, there, um, there is another question actually uh, with this. Is it better for you to add your own page or for somebody else to add your own page? Uh, again, the advantage of you adding the page is you you because it's your own content you know what category it belongs to you can make sure that it goes into the correct category and um, you can um, what else uh, and then you can add the tags and the comments that is relevant to your post if you leave it to somebody else there are chances that these things get might, might get missed or it might not be correct so, but then the most important thing when you add your own content um, to stumble upon is you have to stumble at least 10 other people's content first. Uh, otherwise, you do get penalized. I have first hand experience of that. <laughs> um, so, mm, that's the most important thing. And yes, about categories. I said I would show you that, but I forgot. Let me go back and do the screen share. Um, yes. So, <laughs> One of my most popular posts ever is my water garden. So let me see if I can see my. I, I did I did a container water garden on my deck, and that post has gone viral in what all places I would dream it to be. So again, these are my likes, and so I added the water garden post to stumble upon a while ago okay so uh, and I never received any traffic from it not much just a little bit okay and I was like how come uh, this post has gone viral everywhere else how come it's not there on stumble I mean I'm not getting any traffic on stumble upon so I was looking through my likes the other day and I caught something that's funny and also um, that's again one of my posts that I added um, and let me see let me go down, where is that I saw it the other day when I was trying to do this so so oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm remembering like a ton of stuff now that I'm supposed to speak so here you go this is my water garden okay why and oh yes I forgot to do this you can see the activity under each like you know the page that you add so basically what this means is 24 people saw it and uh, this page has uh, 23 likes two comments and it's added to one list and these are all the people that liked it. so I'm like 23 likes and 24 views for this how come look at this biggest blunder that I did on stumble upon <laughs> I mean after my first year look at this it's under home brewing so I'm like uh, you have to pick the correct category so I don't know if I can change it I think I can uh, or else I might have to add this page again and um, add it into a different category either me or I have to get some a friend of mine to add it to the correct category so what's key add it to the correct interest category that's that's the real key part of it so uh, let's go back to the hangout uh, so what else uh, what else with um, so why do I use tumble upon I actually the main thing that I use tumble upon is to find new content more than promoting my stuff it's uh, I mean yeah the extra traffic is pretty good it's good but um, 
what I use it mainly is to find new content. I mean, I didn't think that I would be using it that way, but that has been the best use. So uh, why do I need new content? To pin up goals. So I have got my Pinterest and my stumble upon working with each other. So what I do is I stumble a lot of things that are of interest to me, like crafts and DIY and stuff like that, and I find um, content that I actually haven't seen on Pinterest. Uh, why? Because Tumble Upon has been around longer and they keep the links to the pages for a number of years. For, I mean, I guess for a longer time. So it's been around longer, so that's what it is. So I look up, see posts from 2009, 2010 when Pinterest was nothing. And um, none of these pages have been discovered, So which is super cool. I'm like, oh God, that's awesome. That should go on Pinterest. So I go into the uh, click through. Uh, I don't pin directly from StumbleUpon, just in case. Uh, I, again, I don't know if you can. I mean, I'm sure you can, but um, I would rather give the blogger the benefit of the traffic. So I uh, copy the URL. Copy the URL. <laughs> Sorry, and uh, I go to. Um, open up a new browser, a new tab, and then I go to the uh, page and I pin it from there. So um, that's one thing. And then how do I get my Pinterest to work for Stumble Upon? So remember I told you you need to add 10 pages of other people's content? Where do I get it? Pinterest. Again, the pins that I like that are on my board, um, I go in, it could be your pins, whatever. Um, the, Pinterest, the pins that I like, I add those pages to Stumble Upon. So it's, it's, it, it, it's you're not only helping yourself, you're not only helping others, um, you're actually helping both the systems too, the Pinterest and Stumble Upon, which is a which is cool, which is cool, which is really cool. So um, I think that's pretty much it. So um, let's uh, let me know if you. Uh, oh yes, one more thing. Um, let's say about all these um, a set of bloggers coming together and trying to promote each other. So that also, uh, you know, how do I say it? Um, let's say if StumbleUpon sees, um, I told you, right, you have to add 10 people, at least 10 people. Uh, uh, that's like a safe um, recommendation that people make. So if you keep adding the same people, again, let's say you are uh, working with a friend of yours, and um, you keep adding your friend's page all the time. And then, like ten pages of your friends' work, and then one page of yours, and that pattern pretty much continues for some period. That kind of raises up the stumble upon alarms. So again, they would know what you're doing. They would understand that you're working with a friend and trying to promote each other. So again, they want it's a remember it's a teamwork. It's not just about one or two people. So spread the alarm, spread the stumble alarm. Um, so, hope that answers all the questions. If you have any, just um, shoot me a message or email. I, I am at uh, www.whatsyourhomestory.com. That's what's your, you are, homestory.com. Happy stumbling!